Welcome to Boston College. Names have been written in a book. Doug Flutie, Luke Keekley, and Matt Ryan. This is the Book of Legends, and a new name is being sketched in this book as we speak. Here comes Landry, he got him! Harold Landry ate him for lunch! There's just no better feeling than having your dad watch you or your teammates watching you just hit someone so hard that they go short of breath. You live your life your way, but uh, the way I see it is you can't be scared of anything in life. Uh, you just gotta attack it 100% every day. Respect everything other people are about, but at the end of the day, fear nothing. And you can't walk into another opponent's stadium already feeling defeated. You gotta have that confidence, you gotta have that swagger that you're the best player out there on the field. Rushes on, here come the Eagles! Harold Landry with a sack. Organized chaos, uh, just everybody flying around, just, just trying to knock heads off people's shoulders. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Known for its paratroopers at Fort Bragg, citizens and soldiers have more in common than simply the heat. Athletics is a way of life for the residents in a city with little to do. One of the unique things unique about Fayetteville in terms of athletes was uh, when I came down here as an assistant coach, the first two years we went one in 10 both of those one in 10 teams, three kids wound up getting scholarships to Division One schools. The way I grew up uh, in Spring Lake and Fort Bragg and Fayetteville, uh, honestly, it was just school and then football. Harold was always one of the bigger kids, so my child was hurting their children, so. It was, not that it was relieved, but I knew that he'd be okay. Harold, he would get up in the mornings before school, go work out, after school, go work out, always watching what, he worked very hard. When you tell Harold he can't do something, and he knows in order for him to be the best, you gotta, you gotta be the best against the best. It was exciting. He was a good player right there in high school, especially this last year. I saw him catch one pass along the sideline. I said, that's an NFL catch there. <laughs> you impressed me right then and there. Another thing was, and I believe it was, was between his junior and senior year, he had a great year, uh, but he wasn't happy with himself, and he, he made a point. No one's ever gonna push me around to get a coach, and he made a, he made a big effort in the weight room. That's why he's named up on that board over there. Uh, Man of iron, only a certain select few get to be up there, and he's one of them. You gotta be able to say, I believe in this, I'll die for this. I have to be able to back up everything I say, just handle myself like a man. Those schools turned him down or gave him a second look. He's using that as motivation to do what he wants to do. He, you know, he, he wants to go and, 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 and be drafted. A lot of people were kind of looking at him, you know, passing him by. And then he went and did the Shrine Bowl Combine, which is for the Shrine Bowl All-Stars, and he just tested very well. A couple of the coaches came to one of the high school games. And I think that's when he really made the decision that he was gonna to go to BC. After committing to BC, Harold's journey was far from over, as he fought to the top once again to prove to those who didn't invest in him that he would make it. His breakout season came his junior year as he fought and scratched in a change of a new number to become the best defender in the ACC. Are you kidding me? Landry shot out of a cannon. That was the hit of the day, maybe of the year. Boy, that was a stunner. Took a mouthful of number seven. Harold Beast. The kid is relentless. 
and he gives 100% all the time. If you came in during the day, you would see him in the locker room or on the field or in the weight room. He is all, he lives at Yawkey Athletic Center. I think it speaks volumes to the team uh, of what the approach of our team is, that you know, we, we got each other's back. We're all in this thing together. That while obviously he wants personal greatness, he wants, he wants greatness for the team. I think people uh, underappreciate uh, the feeling you can get from just watching like your boy next to you just dominate a guy and make a play. Like uh, it's a great feeling. After a tremendous junior year, Harold came across one of the toughest and biggest decisions. The Eagles try to get him, and they got him at the 40. Harold Landry brought him down. Rather to declare for the draft or stay his final year to get a diploma he fought so hard to gain and play his senior year with his brothers at Boston College. So I think it speaks volumes to the character of the young man that the degree is extremely important. His teammates are extremely important. His football program is extremely important. And also his future is extremely important. Uh, it's definitely important because everybody knows football is not going to last forever. Um, I think the average span in the NFL is maybe three years. Uh, obviously, I plan to play more, but if something was to happen, that degree is it's so, it's so critical. It puts me on a different level than uh, my competition out there in the real world. He's um, definitely the hardest working guy here in the in, in uh, the BC program, and someone that you know even veteran players like myself aspire to you know follow. I want to finish here uh, as one of the greatest to ever play here, uh, but but most importantly, I want to just finish strong uh, with my senior class. I want to be able to do something that BC hasn't done in a while since Matt Ryan was here. You just got to prove to everybody that BC's back.